Hi guys, it's Alexa. Sorry for not uploading the past few weeks. I've been really busy and haven't had the time to make videos, but I'm back now. Anyways, this video is going to be a tutorial on how to edit videos in Adobe Premiere Pro. This video was requested by Peter Coates. Thank you, Peter. I'm going to show you the basics of the program because that's what I know. I like to edit my videos in Adobe Premiere Pro rather than Windows Live Movie Maker because Premiere Pro has a lot more options and you can edit really good quality professional videos with Premiere Pro. Let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing you do is create a sequence. What you do is go over here, right click, click on New Item, and then Sequence. You then name your sequence whatever you want and then click OK. You then need to import whatever you want to put in your video into your project. Whether it be video clips, pictures, music, or whatever. There are two different ways you can do this. The first way is to open an existing file window and then click and drag whatever you want into your project as long as Premiere Pro supports the file type. Like that. The other way is to right click here and then click import and it'll open a file window. Or you can press control I on your keyboard and it'll open the same file window. You then choose what you want to import and then click open. To start editing, click and drag whatever you want to put in your video onto the timeline, wherever on the timeline you want. What's cool is that you have the option to only add part of a video clip to your timeline. To do that, you click on the video clip you want in the project panel over here, and then you mark the in point and out point of the part of the clip you want to add to the timeline. To do that, you click on this to mark the in point, and this to mark the out point, or you Press I on your keyboard to mark the in point, or O on your keyboard to mark the out point. First, you need to click and drag this thing to wherever you want your in point or out point to be. You then click directly on your video clip and drag it onto your timeline. Not only that, but you also have the option to put just the video or just the audio onto your timeline. To do that, you click and drag this to add just the video or this to, to add just the audio. Now let's talk about the timeline. First off, you have this slider at the bottom of the timeline where you can zoom in and out on the timeline. This always comes in handy. You can also click on one end of an object and drag to lengthen or shorten the, that object. And you can also change the speed of an object by right-clicking on it clicking on speed slash duration and then choosing how fast or slow you want the video to play and then click OK. <laughs> yeah, I made it go faster. Now I'm going to show you the different tools on the timeline. First we have the linked selection option which basically means your video and audio are linked together when it's turned on and separated when it's turned off. See how they're linked when it's turned on and when it's turned off, they're separated. Let's turn it back on. You also have your different layers on the timeline and you can click the lock button to make it so you can't edit that layer. What's cool about having different layers on the timeline is that you can overlay one object on top of another, like that. This is great for when you're doing face cam for a gaming video, or when you're just overlaying pictures or video clips in general. You also have the Ripple Delete tool, which erases the selected empty space on the timeline. The Selection tool, which you can use to select and move objects on your timeline the razor tool for splitting one object into two, and the type tool to add text. To use the type tool, you click on the T down here, this T, click on the video screen, 
and then type whatever you want. You then go to the effect controls and click over here to the text drop down menu. Here you can change the size using this slider and you can also change the font to whatever you want. You can change the position of your text and do everything else you would to edit text. You can even change the color. To do that you click on fill and then choose which color you want. I'm choosing red and then click OK. Now let's talk about the rest of the effect controls. You can change the position. You go over here to move your object horizontally. Over here to move your object vertically. You can also scale your object, which basically means making it bigger or smaller. To do a custom scale instead of a uniform scale, you uncheck uniform scale and change the height and width of your object to whatever you want. You can also rotate your object and you can also change the volume of your audio. To do that, you go down to the level drop down menu and then change the volume, make it lower or higher using the slider. Negative means lower and positive means uh, higher. Now I'm going to show you how to add effects and transitions to your video. You go over here to your effects menu and you have many different options for video effects and transitions and audio effects and transitions. One audio effect I do not recommend using is the denoise. Yes, the denoise will cancel out all unwanted noise, but at the same time, it will make your audio sound iffy, which you don't want. Anyways, to add an effect or transition to your video, all you have to do is click on whatever effect or transition you want and drag it onto your timeline. For effects, what you do is click on the effect you want and drag it onto the video clip you want to have the effect on. For transitions, what you do is click and drag your transition in between the two objects you want to translate between. You then have the option to resize your transition to make it longer or shorter depending on your preference. I'm now going to show you how to fix jump cuts in your video. All you have to do is click and drag the cross dissolve transition where the jump cut is. And then shrink it as small as possible. So small that you won't even know there's a transition there. This will smooth out the jump cut. And last but not least, I'm going to show you how to add a background to your video. First, you go to Video Effects, Keying, Ultra Key. And then drag the Ultra Key onto the video clip you want to add a background to. You then go to the Ultra Key drop down menu in the Effect Controls. Click on this eyedropper tool and then click on your video screen. This will change the color of your background. Or if you want your own custom background, what you do is move your video clip up a layer and then add whatever you want as your background right under your video clip. After that, you do the same thing with the eyedropper tool. And that's how you add a custom background. Either while you edit or after you're done editing, you have the option to render your edit so that the playback is nice and smooth. To render your edit, you go to Sequence and then Render Into Out. And then you wait for it to finish rendering. After you're finished, you can then export your video into a video file. To do this, you go to your file menu, export, media. Or you can press Control M on your keyboard so that you don't have to go to the file menu. As you can see, my, my export menu is not opening. So in that case, you select your entire edit on the timeline and then try to open your export menu. Now that you have your export menu, you can change the name and location of your video file by clicking here if you want.
And once you're ready to export, click export. After that, you're done. You just wait for your video to export. And that's all for this tutorial. I hope you learned something new from this video. Enjoy editing your own videos in Adobe Premiere Pro. Anyways, if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you'll get notified every time I upload. You may also follow me on Twitter at Alexa underscore Gerard 98 and on Instagram at Alexa underscore Gerard. If you have any questions or requests for upcoming videos, please comment them down below. Thank you for watching and happy editing. Bye.